Good day to everyone. Welcome to the contemporary world. Today, we will talk about global divides, the North and the South. On your screen, you see the world map. The countries in blue color belong to the global north and the countries in red color belong to the global south. North and South have been established terms of use in debates about international political economy since the 1960s. In their most basic form, the terms are regarded as a shorthand for distinguishing rich countries from poor countries. The North is taken to include the industrialized, hyper-capital income, national political economies of which the majority are located in the Northern Hemisphere. The South describes those countries with high levels of poverty and comparatively low levels of industrialization, large numbers of which exist in the Southern Hemisphere. Definition of the North and the South The North-South divide is a social, economic, and political categorization of countries. The Cold War era generalization places countries into distinct groups, the North and the South. The North is comprised of all first world countries and most second world countries while the South is comprised of third world countries. This categorization ignores the geographic position of countries with some countries in the Southern Hemisphere such as Australia and New Zealand being labeled as part of the North. Moreover, North-South divide can be called as rich-poor divide. History. The origin of dividing countries into the North-South divide arose during the Cold War on the mid-20th century. During this time, countries were primarily categorized according to their alignment between the Russian East and the American West. Countries in the East like the Soviet Union and China, which became classified as Second World countries, in the West, the United States and its allies were lab labeled as first world countries. This division left out many countries which were poorer than the first world and second world countries. The poor countries were eventually labeled as third world countries. This categorization was later abundant after the second world countries joined the first world countries. New criteria was established to categorize countries which was named the North-South Divide, where first world countries were known as the North, while third world countries comprised the South. Countries in the Global North United States Canada Western Europe, developed countries in Asia, and Australia and New Zealand. The two countries are not located in the north, however, share similar economic and cultural characteristics. Countries in the Global South We have all the countries in Africa, Latin America, and developing parts of Asia. Interesting facts about North-South Divide The North holds one-fourth of the world population and controls four-fifths of the income earned anywhere in the world. 90% of the manufacturing industries are owned by and located in the North. 
The South holds three port of the popul of the world population and has access to one fifth of the world income. These facts represent how much of a difference there is. Although the South is less developed, there are many complex reasons why, and one being that the North developed countries isn't always entirely fair. Developed countries have many projects trying to help the less developed countries. The developed world has used the developing world for its own gain and cheaper raw materials and labor as well. Issues of North and South Divide Whereas we have standard of living, some of the contributing factors that lower the standard of living are lack of trade and aid, single crop farming, abundance of debt, and neocolonialism. Second, distribution of income around the world. Liberalization of market occurs. Most South countries lost to the competition from the North. Encourage migration of people from South to North for having a good income. Third, economic competition worldwide. There are factors that determine the competitiveness of economy, such as appropriate infrastructure, stable macroeconomic framework, and well-functioning public and private institutions. Development Gap The North-South Divide has more recently been named the Development Gap. It places greater emphasis on closing the evident gap between rich, more economically developed countries and poor, less economically developed countries. Reasons for Development Gap First, Environmental It has something to do with the natural features, example, soil that is very essential for agriculture. Second, Historical Things which have been happened in years before. Example, war. Third, socio-economic. It has something to do with society, culture, and money. At this moment, you will see again the picture of the world map. At present, some countries are developing faster than others. Many Asian countries are quickly developing, while many African countries are slowly developing. The countries in color yellow depict developed world. The countries in color green represent the quickly developing world, and the countries in color red show the slowly developing world. Major Differences in North and South First, let's talk about the North. North has less population, while South has large population. North has high wealth, while South has low wealth. North has high standard of living, while South has low standard of living. North has high industrial development, while South has low industrial development. North is focused on the industry, while North is focused in agriculture. Classification of countries First, we have most developed countries. The riches of the industrialized and democratic nations of the world. Second, 
less developed countries. These are countries with little industrial development, little wealth, and high population growth. Third, least developed countries. These are countries with very low per capita income, low literacy rates, and very little in the way of manufacturing industries. On your, ski, on your screen is the picture of the earth at night shows the wealthy global north illuminating its communities at night and the much poorer global south which can't afford to do so. Comparisons between north and south. Let's start with the politics of the North. In North, political ex external threat, widespread of terrorist activity in the worldwide. Example, attack on September 2011 in London, bombing and Mumbai bombing. While in South, the internal affairs of the nations, reason, political struggles, and corruptions, lack of respect for the rule of law, and violations of human rights. Example, Republic Democratic of Congo. Now, let's talk about the economy of the north manufacturing cheap labor example europe and the countryside while the economy of the south it is more on agriculture such as the production of cotton tobacco rice sugar cane now we have the social of the North. It is determined by life in the cities. Both religion and education were organized. There were schools and churches in most towns. College was reserved for the wealthy. While the social in the South it is determined by the upper class, plantation owners and their families. Only children of plantation owners receive any education. Small farmers had little or no education. The culture of the South revolved around plantation life. Three main reasons why our world is unequal today. First is the colonialism. If we say colonialism, today's north-south gap traces its roots to the colonization of the southern world regions by Europe over the past several centuries. This colonization occurred at different times in different parts of the world as did the colonization. Control by one power over a dependent area or people. Second is trade. What you are spending to bring goods into your country is a greater sum than what you are making by selling products in the global economy. You are losing money. Southern countries suffered from this. Third is that their products were losing money in the global economy, so they needed to increase production. The only way they could do this was to borrow money from the rich northern countries. This put them in debt. Globalization In terms of economic development, 
there exists an enormous gap between northern and southern countries, which has been increased by globalization. Rich get richer, poor get poorer. The process by which regional economies, societies, and cultures have become integrated through a global network of political ideas through communication, transportation, and trade. Three world model. We have the capitalist. It was a capitalist. It has something to do with the economic system, which is based on private ownership of resources and capital. Second is communist, an advocate of a society based on the common ownership of property. And third is developing. Global divides the North and the South has criticism. The North-South divide is criticized for being a way of segregating people along economic lines and is seen as a factor of the widening gap between developed and developing economies. However, several measures have been put in place to contract the North-South divide including the lobbying for international free trade and globalization. And now, to close the gap, the United Nations has been in the forefront in diminishing the North-South divide through policies highlighted in its Millennium Development Goals. This Millennium Development Goals include improving education and healthcare, promoting gender equality, and ensuring environmental stability. Thank you so much.